Hi, and welcome to the Junk Gypsy. Today, I'm gonna to paint this buffalo plaid on a kitchen table. What you need to know is that you will need three shades of a particular color. This I chose blue for. So you wanna pick your darkest shade that you're gonna use, and then you're going to add half, keep some of it to the side, and then add half white to it, and that'll be your medium tone. And then you're gonna add three quarters white to another, and that'll be your first tone. So it'll be a light color, a medium color, and a dark color of the same shade. So here I'm applying my first, which lightest shade that I have. And what you wanna do is tape off the table in one direction. I use double widths of tape to do it. So basically I laid uh, tape side by side of each other one way and then I painted the lightest shade. Then I'm gonna remove all the tape and place the tape going the opposite direction and I'm going to apply the medium shade, the one that I added half color to. And it's gonna be the complete opposite. And what I do is I start in the middle and like you could use one width of tape. I preferred the wider strip so I just laid them side by side and um, made uh, two widths of the tape to do it. So I'm gonna remove all of this and then just uh, make sure it's good and dry. And then I'm gonna lay the tape, like I said, uh, the complete opposite way so that I've formed the check. Okay, so like I said, I'm starting in the middle and I'm using two widths of the tape and I'm just gonna go completely um, down the middle, the opposite direction. And for my spacers, I just laid two more rows as a spacer and then picked it up and then laid my next row and then used it as a spacer, picked that up. And that way you can keep your lines pretty even.
Okay, now that we have all our tape down, we're gonna use the medium shade of the blue, which is the one that I added just the half white to. And I'm just gonna go over and fill in between the lines. Okay, after I finish painting this shade of blue, I'm not going to remove the tape this time because I'm gonna use my last darkest shade to make the little darkest squares. So I just get more tape and you wanna go over the original white lines and it's not hard at all to see whenever the, it doesn't matter which color you're using, I've used dark gray before and you can still see where the white part of the lines were and I'm just gonna go and I'm covering up where the white lines are all in one direction Once I get everything taped off, the little it leaves one little square that won't have tape, and that's where you're gonna put your darkest shade. And you just wanna press down on all your tape and make sure that it's nice and secure to the table. And then you'll use your darkest color to fill in. So here I go.
Okay, once we're done painting, you can reveal your handiwork. And I must say that this came out so much better than I even had envisioned. This table was found free curbside and I'm doing a farmer's market booth. So I thought, why not try to do the Buffalo plaid on it to use it as a display? And I absolutely love how it came out. I did use Junk Gypsy paint, which will be available shortly on the junkgypsy.com. And I just used white as the base and I used um, the blue, like I said, and then I just um, diluted it with white. I took the original shade, which was my darkest color. I added half, I kept some of that to the side. I added half white to it and that was my medium shade. And then I added three to one, three parts white paint to one part of the darkest blue I had for the lightest shade. All right, if you guys like this, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at The Original Junk Gypsy or visit my website at thejunkgypsy.com. Please remember to subscribe. I actually do found, gifted, and thrifted items and redo them and look forward to seeing everybody on the next project.